The devil is using artificial here as a medium to lead many to hell. We have to remember that God is holy and he says that he hates every false way. Nothing that is fake will make it into the kingdom of God. The scripture says that we are to set our affections on things above and not on things on the earth. There is no such thing as wigs in heaven. The devil is using the wearing of artificial hairs to possess many with the spirit of pride, lust and rebelliousness and are causing many marital problems. The source of the hairs plays a major role in the process of being filled with the spirit of the devil. Do you know the history of the hairs original owner or the type of spirit that person was carrying around with them? Countries like Brazil, China and India all make sacrifices to their gods occasionally and what they use is their hairs. In the country of India, how hairs are collected is that it is shaved off women's head. It is a tradition for the women to offer their hairs in the temple as a sacrifice to the gods that they serve. They believe that when they shave off their hair, it represents removing sickness, sins, bad blessings and other evil attachment in their lives. These hairs pass through a lot of spiritual process to their gods for acceptance. Widely considered to be one of the most ethical places to source hair, Hindu temples are a crucial part of the industry. Every year, millions of devout followers travel to temples like this one, the Sri Venkateshwara Temple in the southern state of Andhra Pradesh. It's the most visited Hindu temple in the world, and perhaps the most lucrative. Here, devotees shave their hair as an offering to the gods, which becomes an easy revenue source for the temple, bringing in more than $7 million per year. It's a practice that provides a constant supply of cheap, high-quality hair. After the hairs are offered in the ceremony, outsiders will come and purchase the sacrifice hairs and export them to different parts of the world. These artificial hairs are filled with many demonic spirits that are fighting against many men and women today and they don't even know it. They are suffering from so many problems and think it's normal, but it's not. The problem is in what they have on their heads. You have taken on a spirit that was in many of these women from those countries. If you notice, every time you get a new hairdo, it brings out a different attitude in you, depending on the style you get. You either walk differently, talk differently, or just act differently in general. You need to stop wearing them and seek God in order to be delivered. Don't let the devil bring problems in your life through these artificial hairs. It is a sin to wear them, and the devil knows this. Are you comfortable that the women themselves aren't being exploited because they do have something of value? Should they be compensated for the fact that they're giving something that ends up... They wouldn't want money. They wouldn't want money categorically. Do you know that? The women who give their hair up at the temple as a form of sacrifice would, if it were a money question, actually give that hair to the people going around the villages. The scripture says in 1 Timothy 2 and verse 9, In like manner also that women are doing themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with braided hair or gold or pearl or costly array. The devil has blinded the minds of many women causing them to think that they are not beautiful or not good enough if they don't wear these fake hairs and makeup and jewelries. Many women will make excuses and say that they don't have time to do their own hair, that's why they are wearing wigs. But the Bible speaks plain. The scripture says in 1 Peter 3 and verse 3, Who's adorning, let it not be that outward adorning of plaiting the hair, or of wearing of gold, or of putting on of apparel, but let it be the hidden man of the heart, in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit which is in the sight of God a great price. God don't want us to waste time adorning our body with unnecessary things trying to look beautiful. What he wants is for us to focus on putting on godly things on the inside, which is not corruptible. Everything we add to our body on the outside will be corrupted, but the things of the heart, even a meek and quiet spirit, cannot be touched. And this is of a great price in the sight of God. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 30, the scripture says, And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? Though thou close it thyself with grimson, Though thou deck it thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rentest thy face with painting, in vain shalt thou make thyself fear. Wearing fake hair, makeup and jewelry are all in vain, because it will only lead you to hell, not to God. And the scripture is clear that only when you are spoiled, you wear these things. It be almost two years for me to accept the truth about the outward adornment because I was very stubborn. I was very, very stubborn. Um, when it comes to changing my outward, I used to be one of those and the Lord is my witness. I used to be, I used to argue with anybody that tells me that I need to dress some certain kind of way for the Lord to accept me. I need, to, I used to argue and I can, I, I wish I can prove it to you with some screenshots of the chat I did with a sister that came to preach to me. This was the year I had my encounter with God 
I had my encounter with God and a, a sister came to tell me that I need to you can dress like this to to please God and as I began to tell her no I began to argue with her so I was once an argu argumentator if that's a word of the truth I once argued the truth I never ever believed that the Lord will look at our outward adornment, that it matters. But I, I totally ignored anything that has, has to do with the outward appearance. I totally ignored it. It isn't something because I, I thought it's about the heart. And once and and once you have right with God within your heart, and and once you can you can read your Bible, you can pray, you can do the work of God. I mean, do the work of God. I was literally doing the work of God. Um, I be, I thought that was that was it all until the Lord Jesus Christ chose that very day to 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 help me to change my outward appearance. I need to tell you that the Lord is not pleased with women wearing makeup. The Lord is not pleased with women wearing jewelries. The Lord is not pleased with women dressing worldly. When I mean dressing worldly, let me be very specific. Wearing clothes that exposes your body. Or women wearing tight clothes or trousers. Especially the trousers because it's always tight and it's immodest. The Lord is not pleased with it. The Lord is not pleased with heels. High heels. You know when you wear high heels? The Lord is not pleased with it. And... The Lord is not pleased with fake hair, whether whether it is um, extensions, wigs, or um, or whatever whatever dyeing of hair and all these things. The Lord is not pleased with it. The Lord wants us to dress in a very proper way. He, I, I, I got to understand that the Lord has His standard. He has a standard of how we must appear in this world. He has a standard and never knew until he revealed it to me. God made us perfect. There is no need to add or to take away from our body because the scripture says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Our body is the temple of God, which God made perfectly. So if anyone defile it, the scripture says, him shall God destroy. Another scripture says, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price? Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Our bodies belongs to God, so we can't just do what we want with it. We can't just add or take away when we want. It has to remain how God intended to be. There are no excuse for sin. Wearing artificial hair is wrong. Many of these women have beautiful hair, but they still choose to wear wigs. I just don't get it. It's like a light-skinned woman still bleach her skin. What's the point in that? The devil has invented the beauty industry and used celebrities to manipulate and define what beauty is. When true beauty is having the knowledge and understanding of who God is, that way you will know how to present your body unto him, which is holy and not fake. Many women are living off the standard of Hollywood and so-called women preachers are causing the women to think that fake hairs, fake nails, makeup and jewelry is okay with God. That's why they need to get off the pulpit and go sit down. God has never called and sent a woman to preach. They are leading the people to hell. Hollywood is already causing enough damage. No need to add to it. The devil is not truly focused on trying to stop people from serving God because he knows that he can still deceive you into thinking that you are serving God when you are not. So if you call yourself a Christian and still wear artificial hair, makeup and jewelry, you are still going to hell and the devil knows this. There are many ways in which the devil can deceive people and this is just one of them. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I do pray that we all continue in striving to please God. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.